Welcome families and students of the class of 2020. What a year you have faced to teach you the importance of resiliency. A resilient person bounces back quickly and easily from change. This year, seniors, you have faced a lot of change. First off, you have started your final high school year with a brand new principal and a brand new counselor, and then boom. Just as we're all finding our rhythm, COVID-19 hit in a monumental and memorable way. While this pandemic is not ideal, I'm actually excited for all of you. First, no one in the history of, nor the future of, education has or will have an experience like you have had. Secondly, you are getting an important real life lesson on resiliency that is showing you that you all have it. You are accepting changes to tradition with grace and adapting in real time to make sure this unique experience is interesting and valuable to your futures. Actor Ed Helms once said, don't be afraid of fear because it sharpens you, it challenges you, it makes you stronger. And when you run away from fear, you also run away from the opportunity to be your best possible self. The unknown you have faced during your senior year highlights the strength you hold within you all. You could have given up, but instead you persevered and pushed yourselves to graduate despite the obstacles. I hope you all carry the strength and the knowledge that you can do it, despite the odds, forward with you as you continue to build your futures. Don't be afraid. Embrace the fear. The unknown is just another challenge you can and will overcome. Class of 2020, I have confidence in you. Go out and create your best life. And now it is time to announce the senior awards. The award for senior with the highest GPA goes to Manuel Diaz. The award for most improved senior goes to Mackenzie Norton. Congratulations to the both of you. Hello, Black Butte High School students and parents. I wanted to take just a few minutes to make sure that we had the opportunity to wish our 2020 Black Butte High School Bears a successful future as we move forward. We know these last nine weeks have been probably the most difficult in your life so far. No one would have ever expected that we would be finishing up your school year in the middle of the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. But as you begin that next chapter in your life, we wanted to ensure and have all of you feel the support that the Board of Education, the administration, and myself wanted to extend to all of you as you enter into the next chapter of your adult life. We truly wish you the very best, and we hope that you remember your time at Black Butte High School and also Sweetwater Number 1. Great things lie ahead for you and for your families. We thank you for what you've given to the school district and we wish you only the very best as you move forward. Thank you.
sure wish I could do it in person, but this is gonna have to do. Just know that I'm super proud, I'm very happy, and most importantly, I'm expecting great things. Have a nice summer, enjoy the break, try to do something fun for yourself, and most of all, remember we are here for you if you ever need us. God bless us, love you. Woohoo! Say you're the best uncle ever. You're the best uncle ever. Can you blow kisses? Hey Trinity, just wanted to say congratulations. I know life got a little tough there for a few, but you did it, sister. Hey Blaine, we just wanted to say congratulations and we are super proud of you and we just hope that you follow your dreams. Congratulations on graduating high school, son. Love you. We love you. Bye. Hey Blaine, I just wanted to tell you congratulations on your graduation. I'm so proud of you. Everything you've said that you were going to do, you have accomplished and then some faster than you thought you could do it. I believe in you, keep believing in yourself and your dreams will come true. Love you. Hello Blaine, it's hard to believe that you're graduating already. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for the robotics club and for being such a great TA. I wish you all the best in the future and take care. Hi, Manuel. It's hard to believe that it's been four years and you're already graduating. I want to let you know I appreciate so much all the work that you did for the Robotics Club. I don't think without your perseverance and tenacity that we would have gotten as far as we did. I think some of my favorite memories of you will be when we took computer science classes together and we tried to figure out what Dr. Hestercroft wanted with those silly programming. Um, situations. Also, I wanted to tell you that I appreciated you and when you came to me and said, Miss Seaton, I got a letter from Rice, but I don't want to click on it. And I said, why not? And you said, because it might be a rejection letter. And I said, well, click on it. We got to find out. And you said, no, you click on it. And I said, no, you click on it. And finally, I clicked on it and we found out that you were off to Rice this fall. I know you're going to do great things. And I'm proud of the man that you've become. Take care and best wishes always. Congratulations, Caitlin, on your graduation. Reach for the stars and you can do anything you want to. Caitlin, I know that this year ended not kind of like you wanted it to with COVID and all, but you did it. It's graduation day. The sky's the limit. Love you. Congratulations, Gabe, on graduating high school and reaching another important milestone in your life. We're especially proud of you because we know that staying in school was never easy for you. So we're proud of you, son, for sticking it out. I want you to remember also that each next step of your life, you get to decide, is it day one or one day? Proud of you, son. Love you. Be the storm. Just wanted to tell you congratulations, Destiny, and we love you, and we are very proud of you. Very proud, baby. Do great things in life and continue on being a great person. We love you very much. We love much. you very much. All right. Awesome. Well, my dove, today's the day you've fought so hard for. You know, I've watched you grow from such a shy little girl that let her brothers do all the talking <laughs> into an amazing young woman who has not only found her own voice, but that I am so very proud of. And I just want to tell you congratulations, and I love you to the moon and back. Ethan, we are so happy to be with you today. My advice for you is a quote from our, my friend, Brene Brown, and it reads, choose courage over comfort, choose whole hearts over armor, and choose the great adventure of being brave and afraid at the exact same time. I love you so much. Be kind, work smart and hard, pay your bills on time, save for retirement early, and embrace learning and adventure. I'm really proud of you. We love you. Hi Haley, thank you for choosing me to hand you your diploma. I feel so honored and I'm so excited for you and so proud of you. Always remember that you can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. And the day that you find your passion and move wholeheartedly towards that, you will be a force to be reckoned with. 
I'm so excited to see how you take this world head on with all that spitfire inside of you. Good luck and I hope the best. <laughs> I'm privileged to introduce 2020 graduate Tucker Jordan. The first day Tucker entered my American Lit class back in August, he let me know he was not a big fan of reading and yet he managed thousands of words over two semesters and always kept smiling. I know that Tucker has a very bright future ahead of him, no pun intended. The one desire of Tucker's that has never wavered is his desire to be an electrician and one day have his own company. There is no question in my mind that he will make this happen. Anyone who does not like to read yet manages to finish The Jungle by Upton Sinclair will surely meet every goal and obstacle set in his path. Good luck, Tucker. I truly wish you all the best that life has to offer. Hello, Andrew. It's too bad we couldn't be up on stage to celebrate you receiving your diploma. I sure enjoyed our time together at Black Butte, particularly our lunches. Uh, there's no doubt what I'll be getting you for graduation, and that would be a cheeseburger and a black label Mountain Dew next time I see you. I just want you to know as you move on, um, from high school. I hope you'll let the world hear and see even more of you. Good luck in everything you do. I know you'll do great. Hi Cadenza. I'm super proud of you for graduating high school. I really hope you go to college and do great things with your life. Hi Hannah. I'm here to honor you in your most highest accomplishment, your diploma. Ever since you came to Black View High School, you have been a source of encouragement to many, especially to me. You have continued to grow and succeed. Now we're here at your graduation. I am honored and privileged to be a part. Here's to you, Hannah. Congratulations on the class of 2020. Love you from the heart, Barb. Hi, Caleb. Congratulations, honey. We love you and we are very proud of you. Congratulations, Caleb. Good job, bud. Mackenzie picked me to give her her diploma because I've been there throughout her schooling. I love you, I'm proud of you, and I can't wait to see what the next chapter of your life brings. Well, DeAndre, I know you didn't want to graduate this way, and the circumstances that we've been given definitely suck, but I want you to know how proud I am of you and how hard you worked to get to this point. I love you, son, and you are destined to do great things. Adriana, my Addie, I'm here to honor you in the, your highest achievement, your diploma. From the first time you came to our Black Butte High School, you have touched many hearts by your continued support and kindness, and especially me. I want to Thank you, Addie, for letting me be a special part of your day. Congratulations. Here's to the class of 2020. Love you from the heart, Addie. Hey, Charles, it means a lot that you picked me to give you your diploma. We love you and we're very proud of you and we look forward to seeing what you do with your future. Hey, Kaylee, I just wanted to tell you that I'm so proud of you and congratulations on getting your diploma and graduating. I know you're going to do great things in life. I just wanted to say that it's been a blessing growing up with you and watching you turn into the beautiful young woman you are today. Much love, your big little sister. Thomas, I just want to let you know how honored I am that you chose me to give you your diploma. Um, I don't believe it's a coincidence that we're standing here today, you with that diploma in your hand and me with a warm heart. I'm so proud of you just like I know so many others are, especially your granny. So one last piece of advice, do yourself justice, honey.